Hello? Hello? Bianca. Your album dropped. <laughs> well, quiet as this kill, girl. Nobody knew about it because you always on Love and Hip Hop up here fighting, girl. So you need to do some exposure instead of being up here fighting. Goodbye. With that being said, let's get on right into this Love and Hip Hop review, y'all. Um, Started off with Safari talking about how he felt about Yandy trying to take over. Um, I get what he's saying. I totally understand what Safari is saying, and I'm going to tell you, and not too often do I agree with Safari, but... um. Basically, what Safari was saying was, you know, I've been, I was with Nikki for so many years, and people associated with, with me with her. And then Yandy, you trying to come and take over my remix that I tried to put together? And then I seen on the on the preview of the next episode, Yandy was talking about how she didn't approve of the remix, and I'm like. Who made you the Don Dada? I I don't like Yandy. Y'all know I don't see it for Yandy. Fuck that bitch as far as I'm concerned. <sighs> Anna East gets these girls bothered and I'm here for it. I didn't like Anna East at first. I thought she was a thought hot pocket, which I... On the, the end of this episode, I totally get what she was saying. Um, It made a lot of sense, but we'll get into that. Um, Dream... Dream dog. Why is it that you and Bianca are so upset that Brie and Mariah made up? And the fact that you had you sat at that table and was like the reason why you were in the beef was because you were defending Brie. You just should have squashed it at that. That's stupid as fuck to me. You know, that's just me. I'm just saying. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. What else is going on in this episode? Um, Safari and Juju. Safari and Juju. I really like y'all together. Um, They just seem like they have a, they would have a lot to offer each other. You know, he's a totally different person around her. He's not with the goofy shit, the, the, the flirty shit, nasty shit. He treats her like who she is, a queen. Um, I would like to see them together, but I do, wouldn't want their relationship to evolve on a show. I would like for it to grow off of TV. Um, Dream Dog, you were crying. Your mom was absolutely right what she told you. Um, You really just need to take that L because... You don't have to be friends with Mariah or Bianca. But it's a matter of letting shit go. You know, just let the shit go and move on because y'all are beefing about shit that doesn't even matter. All of y'all are mad over some bullshit. And Mariah and Bree is basically like, okay, you know, we don't even know why we mad. Quiet as this kept. None of y'all don't know why y'all mad. I mean, that's just what it is. That motherfucking Paradise remix seemed like it was going to be lit. But you see how he had the women up there. All the girls was going at it. Compete with y'all music. Like, compete with that. Like, I don't understand why y'all got to who, who the better bitch is. Let the music tell that for what it is. But y'all don't have to be out here, oh, I'm better than this bitch. You ain't selling no records. Y'all are all on the same level to me. You know, I know Dream Dog had a hit on iTunes, but, like, y'all ain't being nominated for Grammys and shit and selling millions of records. Y'all should come together and do a project together. I've been saying that from the beginning. Y'all is stupid as fuck. I mean, whatever. Jacque and Cayenne. I was so here for Cayenne. But she's just annoying. She's gotten annoying as fuck. When she first came on this show, I was like, yes, yeah, she was my favorite. But she's gotten annoying. And 
I'm really here for the relationship. But let me tell you what I have an issue with relationships like that is because they get on these shows, right? And you go down to Instagram and they're together. Meanwhile, they're arguing on the show. And I'm like, can y'all at least keep this shit up? You know, it used to be, you know how the housewives used to be? They would record and it would be the season and you wouldn't, you wouldn't see nothing on their Instagrams or their Twitter. They would get on Twitter and they would talk about that episode and just that episode alone. And that's that. And they would leave it alone until the next episode. Then all this shit would come out once the episode aired. But I guess that's over. I guess it's like it's turned into a soap opera for as far as reality TV goes. But it's like at least go with the storyline until the season is over. Um, Bianca, all Mariah was saying was she doesn't have time for the bullshit anymore. You know, like I said at the beginning of this video, you got a whole album out and people don't even fucking know you have an album out because you down here with Love and Hip Hop arguing. You got other shit to be worried about. You need to be worried about why those wigs don't match your skin tone. That's what you need to be worried about. You need to be worried about why your lace fronts don't go with your edges. That's what you need to be worried about. You don't need to be worried about who's making up. And the fact that you went down here and you sat with Webstar and you blamed him for basically having y'all beefing. No, mama. That's not Webstar's fault. That's your fault. You and her should have let this beef go. And it seems like to me it's more you than it is Bree. Bree just ain't no punk ass bitch. That's what they did. She ain't finna let no bitch punk her down. So you start with her, she just so happens to finish. And that's what that is. Now, huh, Brittany, Bree, she earned a lot of respect for me on this episode because it seems like to me she's about that she's about her money now. And on the next episode, I can see how she's gonna be upset about the little feature thing that happened about Safari taking her off of the song so he can put Cayenne up there. I understand that. Cayenne, why did you get so upset when Anna East came down to that table? Like, Anna East wasn't even on that con on that kind of energy, and you invited her, and you acted as if she invited herself to that table, to the dinner. It just confused me as to how you were so upset with her for something that both of them participated in doing. You, I, I can't stand that. I don't know why females do that. Oh, I'm going to forgive my nigga, but I'm going to fight this bitch. As if she held a gun in his head and made him participate in the deal. That's the stupidest shit to me, and they didn't even smash. So it should have been like to me, oh, you know what, NIE, okay, you know, I take it out on both of y'all. I think it was a fucked up situation on both of y'all's behalf. Okay, I'm forgiving my man, and at this point, I'm forgiving you. Let's move on. That's all it takes. It wasn't that deep for you to call that woman trash. Like, what? She wasn't trash. When she, just like she said, she wasn't trash that night when she walked past your man and his, he got enticed. Moving right the fuck along. Um, <sighs> Bianca and not wanting to work on this song. So basically what you're saying is the fact that you weren't invited to the island is the reason why you're not working on this song because you... You don't want to partake in anything because they didn't invite you on a trip. Because Bree is on this song. It wasn't like it was going to be... Y'all versus was it going to be together or whatever. I I'm not understanding. You could have got a, a coin off of this song. You could have got a little exposure off of this song. Because like I said, nobody knows you got a fucking album out, mama. So you could have got a little exposure and people would have, oh, clicked on your name. Damn, Bianca got an album out. Let me click. Let me click and see what she got on. What she got going on? And you know what? You got. You had an album out. Love and Hip Hop is not even promoting your album. Right. Exactly. You need to grow the fuck up, Bianca, and you need to grow the fuck up real quick, because you're gonna be off of this show. They only have you on this show because they know you don't mind getting it popping. And that's it. And shit, these days, bitches that get it popping come down a dozen.
Jonathan is such a good friend to Anais. Jonathan is a good friend in general. I like him. I really like Jonathan. I want him to sit on my face, but that's neither here nor there. Anais, I like the fact that you were able to say that you made a mistake and you were willing to work it out with your husband and say that you fucked up with Richard. Hell, Richard D is a mistake. Um... This whole Bianca, Mariah, and um, Dream, and um, what's the other girl's name? Who did I name? Bree. It, 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 it's it's so ridiculous when you sit back and you go back to figure out why Bianca and Bree. You don't even know why you're upset with her. She don't even know why she's upset with you. So, it seems like to me, the two of you need to sit down and have a conversation and move on from it. Because Bianca, at this point, is really you. It's not that girl. It's not Brie. She focusing on something else. To me, like I said before, I think Brie is on the, on the, on the, on the wrong show. I think she should have been on Love & Hip Hop Miami, and I think it would have spin off a totally different way because she, I like the way she was rapping on that, um, on that Paradise remix, but Safari took her verse off. I wonder why he took her verse off. I can't wait to figure out why that happened. I need to read up on it and figure out exactly what happened with that. Um, I need to get in here and watch Love and Hip Hop Miami before the night's over with. But I just wanted to get in here and give y'all that Love and Hip Hop review. That's all I really got. Um, I couldn't squeeze too much out of this episode because it was stupid to me as to how these girls was beefing. I thought the Paradise Remix is going to be lit. I tried to look for it on iTunes. It's not out yet. I'm ready to um, I'm ready to get that and see what that's about. But don't forget to hit like on this video if you like what you hear. Drop down in the comments and let me know what do you think about who do you think was wrong in this situation. Dream Dog. Bianca, Brie, or Mariah. I think Mariah and Brie are actually the ones that's gonna rise to the top. Dream Doll, I think she would be up. She's okay. I just think that she's kind of stubborn. Um, but Bianca, they're gonna surpass you and leave you in the dust. You petty as fuck, girl. Drop down in the comments and let me know what do you guys think about Bianca and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys for watching.